How's it going guys? Luis here and yesterday I was reading an article and I came across this very interesting picture. So basically it's a homemade holographic device that attaches to your phone and allows you to display pretty much anything out of it. I thought it was a pretty nifty feature and that is actually the inspiration for today's video in which I'll be telling you guys some of my favorite futuristic smartphone designs I have ever seen. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's go ahead and get started with number one. So the first design I came across is called the window phone, not the windows phone, the window phone. I know the names are pretty similar but basically the idea behind the concept is that your phone will be able to display purely the weather elements on your screen. So for example, if it's snowing, your screen will become a little bit frosty. If it's raining, you will be able to see a little bit of water in there and so on. And the design also shows the phone to be completely transparent and being able to take in solar energy in order to power the phone. The next design is quite an interesting one and it's called the Mobile Script. It was developed by a guy named Alexander Mikomolov and basically he said, well, let's make a really tall phone and have it pull out a six inch, super thin screen therefore calling it the mobile script. Now think about this for a second. This phone can switch back to a tablet, back and forth, not being a phablet, yet being an alternative between both. Pretty interesting and well worth checking out. The last concept I want to talk about comes from a pretty popular company known as Philips. Philips actually came up with a brilliant smartphone idea, believe it or not, and they called it the Fluid. Essentially what they tried to do was create a smartphone with a flexible OLED display. Now Samsung has done something quite recently very similar to this, in fact, we have already seen demonstrations of flexible displays back at CES and it wouldn't be a surprise if they use it in their next flagship becoming its main form factor, but going back into the fluid, it basically consisted of a 3.9 inch screen device that would try to be as flexible as possible. Unfortunately though, we haven't seen or heard anything from Philips yet. Well guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and before we head out of here, I do want to give my good friend Brad from TX Express a huge shout out. He does amazing reviews here on YouTube. You can find him by clicking this annotation right here or going into the link down below, youtube.com slash TX Hope you enjoyed the video again and thanks for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.